So this is the 98 inch QM7 4K TV from TCL. Now this TV, I had the S5 TV from last year, which was an LED TV, LCD TV, really, really good TV. This one takes it up a notch for sure, at least maybe even a couple notches in a few departments. So without further ado, let's jump into this review. All right, so let's first talk about the remote. The remote, I feel like for this price of a TV is a little not great. The good thing about it though is it is, and you might be might be hard to tell from this, but it is glow in the dark. I'll try to put a video up of it showing glow in the dark, but it is glow in the dark. It has all the buttons that you probably want on there for Netflix and Prime and YouTube and Apple TV, Pluto, Prime Video, TCL TV. It's got your you know, all your buttons right here for raising and lowering the volume, the channels, the mute button, the home button. This does run Google TV OS. So you get all that. You can choose different profiles, uh, talk to Google Assistant, bring up your settings. I've done a tips and tricks video, which I'll link down below that you can watch. But ultimately, I, I feel like they should come up with a little bit more of a sexy remote. Runs on uh, batteries at the bottom here. I believe they're triple A's. So nothing terribly exciting with the remote, but it works fine, no problems with it at all. Now it runs Google TV, which if you've used Google TV, it's pretty simple to use. You have your stuff for you at the top with your apps that you have installed on here that you can use and you can reorder your apps or add more apps. You have stuff that it shows you that you can continue watching if you want. Stuff that thinks you might be interested in such as popular movies and TV shows. You know, it's pretty simple. Then you got your live stuff. If you anything that you have connected via live, have it be uh, YouTube TV or uh, Google TV channels or pretty much any other app or thing that you have set up on this television, you can come in here and watch it live. Then you have apps. This is where you can see what apps you currently have or download and find new apps. So it pretty much has the any app that you would want, it's gonna be on here. It's This is one of the most popular operating systems for television, Apple, uh, Google TV, so it has it. And then it also has this TCL thing where you can watch uh, live television with whatever's on this TCL app and television shows, on-demand stuff. So it's kind of interesting if you want to watch all this stuff and it's all free. Just it's, it's supported with ads. You can also go over to the top right here and search for anything, have it be information on Google, uh, or uh, what was a score of some game or play music. You can see there's a bunch of like just things that you can try to say, you can play podcasts. It literally does anything and everything that you would want to know. You can do jokes, uh, trivia in terms of who won actress for last year or something like that, or have it sing you a song, what's the weather tomorrow. Tons of information, tons of things to do. And you can just do it by pressing here and uh, speaking by holding or holding that little Google button I showed you just a moment ago, or just by typing in what you want. Here's settings over here to the right. This is where you can set your screen savers. Uh, look at your, your picture settings, Wi-Fi settings, inputs. And there are four inputs, four HDMI inputs that would be really important to you. One of those is an eARC port. I'll show you that in just a bit. But again, the settings is very simple to use. This is where you can go to your channels and inputs, set your channels. Here's your external inputs. I have a PlayStation 5 set up. I believe HDMI 2 is an Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. 3 is an Apple TV. And then I've got my Sonos Arc, which is a soundbar set up on here as well. Then you have your display and sound settings as you come in here and change how you want this to be. Brightness, that's what I want to point out. This is so much brighter than that S5 television I was talking about a moment ago. The S5 television is pretty bright, but this is a whole nother level of brightness. And when you can get this TV on sale, it's a fantastic deal versus the S5, just based on that brightness. Again, S5 is not dim, but this is definitely a lot brighter. Then you can also go into advanced settings and change your colors and clarity. And so you have really full control over the television and has a lot of digital things set up into it. I guess you'd call it kind of AI stuff that it would manipulate the colors and, and things like that and the movements. So if you, and you can also apply it to all picture settings. You can change your audio settings, which will go through a plethora of statistics that this has in just a moment. 
change your audio output. I currently have it on the internal speaker, which this I'll allow you to hear the speakers. Speakers sound really good on this, even if you're not using a sound bar. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for the settings. Hopefully you can see from just this super bright, beautiful looking picture, just based off these thumbnails, we'll play something pretty for you to look at. Here is a absolutely beautiful look at this. This is a mountainous scene. The colors, you can see a lot of oranges and yellows and obviously my pre-production of what I'm seeing versus what you're seeing. It's better with my eyes, obviously, because I'm recording another recording through the camera. This picture is beautiful. Here's a beautiful blue image of Norway. This, and when something's in 4K, like true 4K, this TV just pops amazingly. And you can also probably see that the bezel around the television is super thin. This is a 98 inch TV. It is basically all screen on the front. Now we have this image right here, which I'm showing you. This is pretty much straight on. I'm gonna show you from the angle just to see if it loses any of the color clarity or anything like that. Now here's the side. And again, I don't really notice any changes in terms of the quality. Not that you're gonna watch the screen from this angle, but I really just don't see it. You know, I'm gonna come back here because now it's on a different image. You see it, I'm gonna come right back around. I don't see any, you know, big losses of quality or anything like that. It still pretty much looks the same to me, which is still a great image. You can probably tell from that audio, hopefully you can anyway, it has really good thumping bass, good volume as well, but I will say that I still would get a sound bar. I love the Sonos stuff, but TCL makes some really good and expensive sound bars as well. I'll link both down below. Now, a couple of things I wanted to mention real quick. This is a 4K Ultra HD resolution television. It's a QD mini LED, meaning this is gonna get really bright. It's a really good quality TV set on there. It's got QLED Ultra, which is their quantum dot technology. You get high brightness, which is an ultra LED backlit, 120 hertz panel, and 144 hertz variable refresh rate. So if you're a gamer, which I'll show you in just a moment, you are going to love this television because it gets up to 4K 120, or actually up to 4K 144 hertz, but the consoles will only do 4K 120. It's got their TCL, AIPQ Pro Processor with Deep Learning AI. Listen to how many HDRs. HDR Ultra with Dolby Vision IQ, HDR Plus, 10 Plus, HDR 10 and HLG. Motion rate 480 with MEMC frame insertion. Game accelerator up to 240 Hertz. It's got an auto game mode. So if you're a gamer, you'll get AMD's FreeSync and NVIDIA's G-Sync. So you can hook a monitor up to this, a uh, gaming console, I should say, have it be on the Xbox or PlayStation 5, or you could also hook a PC up to it and get the latest in technologies connected to this television. IMAX enhanced certification, Dolby Atmos, audio, DTS Virtual X, Bluetooth personal audio, full view 360 bezel-less design with height adjustable pedestal stand, which I don't have, I have this mounted. I will link down below the mount that you should get. It's got Google TV, like I said. Apple AirPlay 2, you can use it with Google Assistant, Apple HomeKit, Google Chromecast, every, this TV literally has everything. Here we go with some gaming on here. A little Fortnite, one of my favorite games to play. This TV handles it beautifully. That gaming bar that has built into it here um, just enhances the look and the feel of the games. Everything's silky smooth with the, uh, the graphics and the motion and all that stuff. It's pr really, really good stuff. And you're gonna freaking love this. It looks like I'm gonna get eliminated in a second here. I don't have anything near me. My partner's not near me. So let's just see how this goes. Go over here. See if I can get some stuff. But yeah, when you're playing this on a, a you know, when you're gaming, like it just looks awesome on here. It games in 4K, like I said, you're gonna get uh, 4K 20 on here. 
120, I should say, if you have it set to that. Right now I have this game set to 4K60. Um, but this game, if you game in it, um, at least on the PlayStation 5, the original PlayStation 5, you're only gonna get 4K, you can only get actually 2K 120, uh, just because the console is not powerful enough, but you can do 4K 60, absolutely no problem at all. And that's a, that's a big win with this, is to look, these games look so good on here. Looks awesome, like seriously awesome. Look at those colors. So this is Fortnite. Next, let's check out NCAA football, which I've been playing a lot of lately. I just picked that up. Loving that. I'm so glad they came out with a NCAA game. Here's the new NCAA football game. This game is so much fun. Brings me back to being, man, being a teenager when these games were out, and this is the first time it's been brought back. But this game looks incredible as well on this 98-inch 4K television, great graphics, it's fun. You can see the, the stadium is making the screen vibrate because they're going crazy. Oh, 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 there we go, bringing them down. It's incredible. You, it, when gaming on here, you think about sports as well on a 98 inch TV, here's a great example of, of how sports would look, not just video game sports, but think UFC, basketball, it's awesome. It's really, really cool stuff. I love it. All right, so hopefully you can see that. You get a couple of USB ports, Ethernet, four HDMIs. You get your cable port so you can plug in a coaxial, audio out, headphones, all that stuff. Here is how thick it is. Not terribly thick. Um, definitely need two people to carry it. That is for sure, though. There you go. Also, the so I showed you the HDMI is just a moment. Um, the power port is on the opposite side of the TV. So the big factors for me going from a S5 98 inch from TCL to this television are a couple of things here. So first of all, the brightness is much improved. I love the brightness on this television. It's amazing, really, really good stuff. The quality of the picture, it's really, really close, but I have to give the slight edge to this one, the QM7. There's a, a slight difference in the quality of the image, at least from what I can see. I don't have them side by side, and there's no way I could have these side by side because they're humongous televisions, but they fit as you see on a good size wall. But yeah, I have to give the slight edge in terms of quality to the QM7. The speakers are definitely better on the QM7. It's got better low end, it's got better overall quality sound as well. And if you're using a sound bar on both of those TVs, it's gonna be pretty equal. Um, and I would recommend getting a sound bar anyway, just to get the best sound. And you can also go surround sound to give even better sound. But I like it kind of simple with just a sound bar and a subwoofer. You can see how everything was so fast and fluid. This television's also a little bit faster feeling than the S5 television that I had and reviewed, uh, early, I guess it was last year or earlier this year. So if you want something that's a little bit more faster, smoother with the OS, which the S5 was fast, but this brings it up a notch, definitely get the QM7. Software experience is same pretty much year over year, not really anything different. It's nice that the QM7 has a backlit remote. The S5 does not, so I like that as well. A couple of things that I would like to see changed, if possible, on next year's version is this TV is not like super reflective. I mean, when I look at it, sure, when I'm super close, I can see some reflections. This is a pretty bright room. You can still see the television, no problems. But I would like to see a little bit more of it, if, they, if they're able to, maybe a little bit more of a matte screen. But at that cost, you might lose brightness, you might lose quality of image. I don't know. But it's just something that I would be interested in. The other part I would be interested in is the remote. I would like it to be a little bit more sexy. It's kind of boring looking. It's kind of big. I want it to be smaller um, and sexier. And I wouldn't mind having USB charging in there rather than have to always replace the batteries when needed, but the batteries do last a long time. Beyond that, I so love 98 inch televisions. They are awesome, so much fun for gaming. They're awesome for video games. They're often awesome for you know movies and TV shows. They are such a wow factor that it is big, but it doesn't take up so much room where it's obnoxious. I would love to put these all throughout my house. My wife probably wouldn't let me, obviously. Uh, and also, you know, they're kind of expensive, you know. It can be over 
two thousand dollars at times or three thousand or four thousand depending upon what the deal that's going on but otherwise you got to get one of these they are so amazing and they look great sound great they're awesome televisions televisions thanks for watching link down below if you want to pick it up have a great day we'll see you down the road peace